Welcome to Chapter 3 of Cat's Spooky Chats. Today's chat is going to be about an ancient being that's said to have been around before humans. This ancient creature is said to have been created a day after angels were created. Now, it is said that one should beware of these dangerous beings and avoid them at all costs. You're not sure what ancient being I'm referring to? I'm referring to none other than the jinn. In cartoons, the jinn, they're portrayed as genies who grant wishes, they dance, they sing. But in other movies, they're portrayed as dark or evil, deceptive beings. Which story is correct when it comes to the jinn? Are they the joyful wish granters or are they the dark evil forces that shouldn't be reckoned with? I guess we'll find out by the end of today's story. So, with that being said, let's chat. There are different beliefs when it comes to the jinn and their origin. One of the most common beliefs come from Islamic traditions. Some records of Islamic traditions state that Allah created the angels on Wednesday and jinn on Thursday. In Islamic tradition, Jinn are referenced in different ways, and there are many different types of jinn. One reference of the jinn is that it is a creature unable to maintain a shape. So this is why it is impossible for humans to detect them with any sensory organ. Now, a jinn is not seen unless it wants to be seen. Now, another reference is the jinn is an invisible entity created from smokeless fire. Now, Surah 72 in the Quran, it explains the jinn and the smokeless fire described. Now, it describes it as actually an energy and not like the fire that we know it as today. Now, it is said in the Islamic tradition that all demons and angels, they are jinn, but not all jinn are demons and angels. Now, jinn are said to have existed in the heavens and walked the earth thousands of years before humans were created. Now, they were said to be magical and prideful beings with extraordinary abilities, and their pride is actually what is believed to have been their downfall. Now, jinn were said to have some abilities like humans as well. I mean, they ate, they drank, they even gave birth. But they possessed strength greater than humans and they were much faster than humans. Now, as we said earlier, jinn, they live long before humans some even believe jinn may very well be the reason that humans were created all together. Now, the jinn, they were a mighty race of prideful people. But they were so prideful, they began thinking they were better than their creator, Allah. Now, this pride of the jinn, it brought about corruption and injustice all throughout the world. And Allah, he tried to warn the jinn. He tried to warn them about their ways, but they were too prideful to even care. Now the jinn, they ignore Allah. So Allah, he sent his angels to earth to battle the jinn and cleanse the earth. Once many evil jinn were destroyed, Allah decided to create man. Man was created on a Friday out of clay from the earth but this was many years after the creation of jinn according to Islamic tradition now when Allah created the first man 
who was known as Adam. He ordered, he ordered the angels and the jinn to bow before him. Now, many of the jinn and the angels, they obey Allah's request and they bow before Adam. But Iblis, he refused. Iblis was a jinn and he refused to bow before Adam because he, Iblis, a creature made of smokeless fire, he believed he was more superior than this mere human, you know, that was made of clay. Iblis argued that he should not be forced to bow. Iblis's arrogance and his pride got him banished from the heavens and condemned to hell. Iblis accepted his fate, but he asked Allah to grant him a special request. Iblis asked Allah for power over humans. And he asked to be spared until judgment day so he could tempt humans to stray away from the path of righteousness and lead them to the same fate that he must bear. Allah, he granted Iblis' wish or his request, but only under the condition that he would not have power over man. Instead, if man chose to stray away from the path of righteousness, it would be because of their own temptations and their transgressions, or in other words, their own free will. Now, Iblis is known to many by other names. Names such as Satan, Lucifer, and the devil are common names for him in America. Now, many debate whether Iblis is an angel or a jinn. But if you remember, the rule of thumb when it comes to Islamic tradition, both sides may be right. Now, I called him a jinn earlier, but this is the rule of thumb. Remember, all angels and demons are jinn, but not all jinn are angels or demons. And let's chat about some different types of jinn. The Marid. The Marid. The Marid is said to be the most powerful jinn, and it's actually the most known. These are the jinn that genies are actually based off of. The Marid, it can shift form, and their name actually means giant, which is their larger form. Now, the Marid, they're known to be the granters of three wishes. And according to the legends... But also, as with the legends, with each wish comes a price. Now, wishes, they aren't easy to get from the Marids. They like to be flattered. They like rituals in their honor. Or they must be in prison to grant wishes. The Ifrit. The Ifrit Jinn, they're said to be Jinns that like to frequent ancient ruins and protect Egyptian pyramids and burial grounds. Now, it's said that anyone who enters the ancient grounds without an anti-spell, of course, they would not survive if an Ifrit is around. Now, Ifrit, they're known to live amongst humans as well. Now, many have been known to marry humans and have children. But they actually prefer to marry other Ifrits. Now, most Ifrits are said to be evil and wicked, and they should be avoided at all costs. Hen. Hen are said to be jinn that appear as dogs or other animals. They're said to be mainly found in Arabia, India, and Persia. And they're also said to be the actual dogs who led the soldiers into the desert during World War II before disappearing. The John. Oh, the Jan. 
They're said to be friendly and open-minded. These are said to appear as whirlwinds and white camels. Now, these jinn, they're said to be powerful allies because their enemies are actually the ghouls. Now, the John or the jinn, depends on how you say it, they're said to have helped humans in war throughout history. They protected the righteous and made trouble for the wicked. Ghouls. Now, ghouls are said to be some of the most feared jinn. They're said to shape shift and prey on humans. Now, ghouls are said to crave human flesh. And ghouls, they mainly prey on corpses, but they do like to eat a living human treat from time to time. Ghouls are said to be found in ruins and graveyards. Now, they prefer to prey upon people in small groups or someone that's wandering alone. And the female ghouls, they're said to be the most dangerous because they appear as a beautiful woman. And they do this to have the human men fall in love with them and marry them. And once they marry them, the female ghoul... She devour her husband as a special little treat. The shaitan. The shaitan are said to be evil jinn who pledge their services to the evil jinn Iblis. Also known as shaitan, Satan, or the devil. Now, the shaitan, they're said to be pure evil beings controlled by strong, dark magicians who cause trouble in the human world. Now, they're said to be able to even cause illness and death. They're known by some as the most dangerous of jinn and are capable of possessing humans. Now, other jinns, they can possess humans as well. But their possession is nothing compared to the brutal and evil Shaitan. The polis or police. They're said to be jinn similar to the vampire. Now they're said to live in the desert and they prefer to drain their victim's blood by licking the soles of their feet. Now the polis or palace. They aren't very smart and they can be fooled. And they can be fooled if two or more people slept end to end with the soles of their feet together or under each other's head. The Quarine. Now, everyone is said to be born with their own Quarine gen. Now, it's said to be part of the human that causes them to sin and do bad things. And it's also said that one can tame their quarry, but it's very dangerous and it can take years. Now, the prophet Muhammad, now he's said to have done away with his quarry's evil nature. And he turned his quarry into a Muslim. Now, there are said to be great benefits of taming one's quarry, such as obtaining information on any person in the world. You will know who's coming over before they arrive. You can find lost and stolen things. You can cure illness. And you can make others do whatever you want them to do. Vitala. Vitala are known to be the most terrifying gen. They're known as the original vampires. And they possess corpses. And they prevent the corpses that they possess from decaying. Now, possessing the corpses give the Vitala the ability to walk amongst humans without being noticed. They are very smart and believed to be psychic. They have the ability to read minds and predict a person's future. Now, I don't need a Vitala to predict that this is the end of today's chat. Now, I hope you enjoyed chapter three of Cat Spooky Chats. Beware.
There is much more to come. Please like the video. Please share the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you would like to support the channel in a monetary way, the information to support will be in the description of the video. And until next time, peace, love, and blessings.